Hey, this is Chris for Jamplay.com. Welcome to another episode of Lipe's Licks. And in the next two lessons, we have some licks in the style of Stevie Ray Vaughan. And what you just heard was me playing the entire phrase. We're going to go over the first phrase in this lesson, and then in the next lesson we'll go over the back half. So I should say also that I am tuned to E standard, even though Stevie Ray Vaughan generally tunes down to E flat. But it always bugs me when I'm learning licks, uh, and I have to retune my guitar real quick just to learn something and then tune it back up. So you guys are more than welcome to play this in E flat. Uh, well, it is in E flat, but you're more than welcome to tune down to E flat and practice it later or whatever. But we are going to stay in E standard for these two lessons. Stevie Ray Vaughan is so good at playing small chord forms with his bends, with his lead lines, and this group of licks is is really illustrating that. So we start here on the 12th fret. This is an E flat triad. Okay? And really when when you're playing this in the heat of the moment, I don't play the high E string. I might touch it a little bit and it's okay if you if you do touch it a little bit, but you want the emphasis to be on those two notes. Okay? And you want to, I'm using all downstrokes. TV Ray Vaughan may have done something more like this, where he's muting, you know, and doing something like that. I'm not that comfortable with that. So I, I choose to, to do all downstrokes and keep my thumb back. And then you want to slide uh, into it and then kind of slide off of it. So every six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just getting comfortable with that and, and up to tempo on the track is going to help you kind of get in the feel of this. And the other thing about Stevie Ray Vaughan licks is that they're so aggressive. And so it's really easy when you're doing stuff like this to tense up, but really that's the opposite thing you want to do. You want to be as loose as you can so that you can be as aggressive on the guitar and, and groove. Another thing about Stevie Ray Vaughan licks is they, they always groove. They're right in the pocket. So we start out here. Then... We go up here to the 15th fret, second finger. And again, you're mainly emphasizing these two notes, 15 and 14 on your B string. But this note sounds a lot better against the chord on the backing track than, than that does. And the reason is because the, uh, the backing track is, is emphasizing this flat third. So it doesn't sound too bad to play this one, but it sounds better to leave that one out or just kiss it every once in a while and then have the option of playing this high note here. So the first part of this lick here. All right, uh, you, you want to do the same kind of slide thing there. Right? That's the first part of the lick. Then we get into this, uh, this part where we, we continue this strumming thing, although right here I switch to alternate strumming. I feel like it makes it a little bit easier because I'm doing some alternate picking as well. We go into this pentatonic box, your E flat minor pentatonic box. <laughs> Bend up to pitch, a whole step bend. Okay, then we hit 11th fret, do a double stop down there. All right, so the transition between those would look like this. Okay, and I didn't do a very good job playing that double stop, but you do want to hit that. Okay, once I hit this double stop, I do alternate strumming there. So get used to doing that. And you notice when I, when I do that over and over again, sometimes I approach the double stop from a downstroke and sometimes I approach it from an upstroke. stroke. 
being able to do that consistently is is really awesome for any kind of blues playing uh, because that's that's a even that in and of itself is a kind of a trademark blues lick. But Stevie Ray Vaughan would add to it. He'd add to it a little bit more, and that's what this lick illustrates. So we start by doing that. Then instead of bending on our G string, we bend on the B string, same fret, thirteenth fret, and we do that twice. So. Then we bend 13th fret high E string, keeping that same kind of groove going. Now that's hard to keep clean because you're, you're strumming these two or you're picking these two and then you want this one to come through without, you know, you don't want that happening. So we're using a complex muting kind of thing. If, you, if you're not used to string muting with your left and right hand, definitely check out some lessons on that. Okay, so this whole section is going to look like this. One, then two times on the B string, then two times on the high E string. All right, I'll say it without talking, or I'll play it without talking. All right, so the whole lick together, slow. All right, let's hear that first part one more time with the track. Thanks for watching Stevie Ray Vaughan Lick Part 1 on Lipe's Licks. Stay tuned next week for Part 2.